a conversation today about how old we both are. John, <laughs> kia ora. Welcome to the show. Now, both of us had birthdays in the last wee while, and there's nothing like uh, the good anniversary of um, your first day in the world to yes. um, put things in perspective in terms of uh, how old we are now. And I, I suppose every year I get older, I redefine what old actually means. Certainly yes. when I was in my 20s, I didn't know many people as ancient as I currently am, but it doesn't seem so old now <laughs> from this perspective. No, they, what they say in middle age is always 20 years in the future. <laughs> uh, well, I don't, know, I don't know if I've got 20 years of future, so um, middle age is, is permanently postponed. And no, I, um, I, I turned 67, mm -hmm. and I have to say – there was a lot more fun blowing out candles when I was seven rather than 67. It's a, but <laughs> nevertheless, I had a nice celebration and friends were very kind with their congratulations. And that is one thing I noticed, that people are a bit less mocking. Oh. I can remember turning 40 and every card you got when you turned 40 is a mock about how <laughs> old you are. And every present was, you know, I got old age pills, you know, which were just lollies and things yeah. like this and, and, and just mockeries. But now I guess my friends are, either my friends have got nicer or they're scared of me or they just don't think, Getting old is such a joking matter anymore when they look how fragile and decayed I am. But um, <clears throat> one thing I do remember shortly after turning 40, and I had a good party and it was all a jolly time, but I was thinking, oh, well, that's it. That's my life over. That's my youth spent. Yeah. You know, what's, what's now apart from decay and decline? And <clears throat> I remember driving through the Waikato on my own, feeling old, and I had this thought, what would my 50-year-old self say to me? Mm -hmm. And what would my 60-year-old self say to me? And, of course, they'd say, you're so young. <laughs> yes, that skin is starting to wrinkle, but it's going to get a lot worse and more blotchy. And <clears throat> there's so much that you can do now that will be harder when you get older. And um, I, I remember, you know, and also, remember, stop, you know, I know what my 67-year-old self would say to my 40-year-old self. And by the way, excuse my croaking voice. I, I've got a bit of man flu going on or something. Yeah. Um, you know, I would say, stop your grizzling. Your 40s are the best years of your life. Yeah. Don't waste them being neurotic and nervy and grumpy and so concerned about things that don't matter. Your immune system is as good as it'll ever be. And, um, you know, and cuddle those little kids of yours yeah. because soon they're going to be prickly teenagers and they won't appreciate it so much. <laughs> and, um, you know, th stuff like that. I'd, I'd, <clears throat> the thing is, as a 40 year old, would I listen to my 67 year old self? Probably well, not. I reckon we should. Yeah. I actually asked chat GPT about what's my chances of reaching 77 now that I'm 67. Yep. And it assures me that I've got an excellent chance. So that's encouraging. <laughs> you know, and I put in my, the various factors that, uh, you know, it's not infallible, of course, but that's encouraging. So I'm prepared to ask, what would my 77 year old self say to me? And so 77 year old self, what would you say? Hey, what? Speak up, lad. Uh, no, I don't know what, my 77s, Actually, when I did this, when I was thinking about this, I was actually surprised by the answers. Mm -hmm. the The answers were things like, "Why are you still bothering to work?" Yeah, now that was an interesting one. Why am I still working? Is it the money? Is it just the need to keep yourself busy? Is it need for significance? And so, yeah, that was that was a surprise wow. one that came rattling into my head when I did this. Because you see, this is a thought exercise. Mm -hmm. You know, just that stepping sideways from our regular way of using our brain. And sometimes different answers come when we sort of dramatize a situation for ourselves. It is a different way of thinking. There's nothing magical or, or, mis or mystic about it. It's just a, a different way of thinking. And you'll get some funny ideas that w won't normally come to you. You know, one, one of the thoughts was, it's not too late to get passionate about causes. Mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting that. You know, the environment and politics and stuff like that, which I have a moderate interest in it. And here's my 77-year-old self saying, hey, <clears throat> you've got the opportunity to do stuff now to make a difference. Especially if you actually areas. retired and stopped and stopped working for a living, then you'd have more time for passionate causes, right? Yeah. And so I was quite interested in having this chat with my 77-year-old doddery self, mind you. 
you know, what what would a 77 year old know? <laughs> you know, and, and also it's not too late to invest. That was an interesting thing that came tumbling out of his thought exercise. Yeah. But then when he went on to the invest in your marriage and in your kids mm -hmm. and in your health and in your mind. And because sometimes you have to think, oh, I can't be bothered doing a course. I can't be bothered learning something new. Oh, it's no too late to start that hobby. It's too late to do that. No, yeah. it's not. Mm -hmm. And I think the last thing my 77-year-old self would say to me is, you know how you said one day you'd finally get around to tidying up that garage? Well, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think it's ever going to happen. So <clears throat> that's just a little thought exercise. What would your 10, 20, 30-year-old self say to you? Wow. No, Andrew. Good, good food for thought. I, um, I remember my 40th birthday party. It was quite mm. memorable because I decided to have a pirate-themed party uh, and was dressed as a certain Johnny Depp character, and we had a, a pirate ship-shaped bouncy castle. Yes. And, and I think my 50-year-old self, or, or now my 56-year-old self, would say to my 40-year-old self, no swords on the bouncy castle or you won't get your deposit back. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. No, because that's brilliant. We learn through our mistakes. We learn through opportunities. But uh, certainly um, listen to your elders, even if that's an older version of yourself. Uh, yes. Then why hey, is it one, give them one, credit for? Hey, one final little test you can do is hold out your forefinger in front of you yeah, yeah, and that. pinch the skin on your knuckle, yeah. on your on your first joint. Pinch yeah, yeah. the skin on your first joint. Yeah. If it flattens down, you're young. If it stays up in a peak, you're old. What's the test show you, Andrew? <laughs> <laughs> it's staying up, isn't it? It, it is. Uh, it is. Yes, it is. no, I am officially yeah. old. Thank you for making yes. my day, John. <laughs> hey, talk uh, to you again, Andrew. Yeah, if talk I to live you that next time. Yeah, cheers. Bye-bye. Cheers.